Hello, welcome to Tuesdays to be continued. We are getting started in just a few minutes. Hello, YouTubers. Hey, uh, everybody on YouTube watching the replay. I want to remind you that you can comment. I'm getting a few, but you can comment and still get in on the drawing for um, to win the project that I'm making. Hi, Maria. Hi, Bev. Um, so thank you for all, all of you that subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, Pam. And thank you for everyone. I'm going to scroll a minute. Beverly Grilla. Hi, Beverly. Maria. Okay. I didn't miss anybody. Pam, um, Debbie, Donna. Um, what was I saying? So thank you for subscribing to YouTube and for those of you who are following me on Facebook Live. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen, I've been praying for your daughter. I hope things are doing better. <clears throat> Let's see what time is it. Two o'clock on the dot. Got that going. All right. So we're going to continue on. Everybody seemed to really like the card that I made on Sunday. It's very, very, very popular. And the other thing that um, I want to say is, hi Irene, is that I hit a milestone, a goal of mine that I've been trying to hit um, for a little while now. And I hit it on Sunday, Sunday's live. So I want to send a card to the first person I saw get on today to celebrate 50, five, zero, people watching on Sunday. Yes, I was so excited about that. I am growing. I thank you all for sharing. I thank you all for um, coming back over and over and over. And um, I'm just so appreciative. So the first person I saw was Cousin Bev, Beverly. So I am going to send you a couple of cards, Beverly. I don't know if I have your address still. So if you can private message me, I would love that. So um, private message me your address and I'm going to send you a few cards, Beverly um, Grillo, in case you don't know, I'm talking to you and uh, just showing my appreciation for everybody coming and watching. Yes, the big 5-0. So let's see if we can get to 75 next time, huh? And then 100, and then 125, and on and on and on. All right, so everybody fell in love with the uh, On the Horizon, and including me, and the canvas. So I wanted to continue on, as I mentioned, a couple of things uh, with the canvas that where you could get it the coloration, the frame, different things like that. So I'm going to go over, and I also mentioned that I had stamped a seaside type of style, and um, now I'm going to go to the gardens. And I'm, going to, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going to just work on the fly. I mean, I've cut out a bunch of things, and I have these images in my head, but usually I've made the card in advance, and then I just copy my own my own work for you but this time i just got the visions floating so let's see how it all comes out i honestly give all credit to stampin up because their artistry in their their designer series papers and their stamps and everything just makes things pretty easy to put together all right so let's turn down to um my desk and we're going to get started okay Oops, I gotta unscrew this first. Alrighty. So let's start with who the winner is. Oh, darn it, I left the cards in my living room. I had some snail mail, three cards. I'll try to remember to show them on Sunday. Darn it, they're so pretty. I totally appreciate um, you guys sending me cards for various reasons. Love it. Okay, so this is the card that I made on Sunday. And a few people were saying, I hope I'm the winner. I'm hoping I'm the winner. So who is the winner? Charlene. Charlene O'Leary. Charlene lives here. She's one of my customers. She lives here in Tracy. 
So I will drop this off to her. She will not be on today, I don't believe, because I think she's at work. I could be wrong, but usually she um, is at work at this time of day. So she will be nice and surprised and happy. The, here is my hostess code and all the information you need about me. Snapshot that if you need it. And thank you all that have placed an order with me this month already. Remember, by placing an order with me, your name is gonna go into a drawing to have this beautiful punch sent to you if you are the lucky winner. I've been using it a lot, so you can see all the different things you can do with it. All right, here is the frame of the canvas after you take the canvas off the whole frame. So see what I said on Sunday, that you have a cute frame left over. You could do so many things with this frame. You can simply put in a picture of a family member. You can paint it. You can use inks on it to stain it. You can put designer series paper behind it. You can use it for 3D items. Hi, Roseanne, because there's not glass in here, so it has the room for florals, banners, holidays, on and on and on. So I hope I give you some ideas with that. Keep the frames. You never know what you can create with that. And then I caught myself, I, I, I caught myself saying um, some of the fabric, some of the canvas, is um, white and some of it is vanilla. Oh no, I think I stained it, but I didn't remember staining it, but it was definitely vanilla, so I must have with the blending brushes. Well, when I watched my video over again, because I was perplexed, duh, look, white, hi Phyllis, vanilla. <laughs> That's what it was. So you have choices depending on what you're making. Just flip the canvas over and you have two different colors. Hi, Janet. So that is even better than that was really nice to, to understand. I, I saw in the video where I said when I started to cut it, I'm like, wait, there's the vanilla. That's how that happened. Okay. So didn't even realize it until I watched the video, uh, my replay over twice. I had to watch it twice before. You guys probably caught it right away, but I didn't. Okay. I'm going to use Memento Black ink today. Still working as I always do with the same items that I used on Sunday. The Horizons dies. There is their code. And the Horizon stamp set. This is the code if you just want the stamps. And I didn't write the code for the bundle. So I'd have to look in the catalog if you want the bundle. Okay, so let me get my packet out. I believe my card, oh, this one's crooked. I see that right away. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna work with a crooked card. So I'm gonna cut again. So this is eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna take my paper trimmer out. And on the 11 inch side, I'm going to pull up my um, ruler, which locks in place. Just pull it up and put the end of my cardstock on the five and a half inch mark. Five, five and a quarter, five and a half. Put the ruler down, press the dark blade, and I have two cards, that easy. Okay, that's how you cut your cards. Then I'm gonna fold over and I'm going to put my two fingers at the end of the card base so I don't go over the card so it's even and I'm just gonna lightly run my fingers across. Then this bone folder does all the work for you. You burnish, you open up, you're welcome. You open it up back up just wing it like this and look at that beautiful seam. Okay, so I think my card base is gonna be this Evening Evergreen, the new in color. And of course, we're gonna work with canvas again. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the canvas. I just want the texture this time. 
And I wanted to sh show you something done with the Stitch So Sweetly dies because they're retiring. And these are an all-time favorite die set. And I'm using the largest scalloped stitched rectangle. There's smaller ones. And then there's banner shapes. And they're all stitched. So we all shed a tear when we realize that these are retiring. But you can still get them right now. Okay, so I wanted to show you. And, and because I've shown you how to cut out all of these dies already, I cut them out in advance just to save a little time. Silver um, foil paper. I used the largest rectangle scallop stitch die and cut out some silver foil. I just thought in my head, like I said, we're going to see if it all works out, that this would be attractive. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put it all down. Excuse me. <clears throat> Just in case it's not attractive. <clears throat> okay. So there's that. Now, the thing I'm adding today is the New Horizons six by six DSP. There is the number there. This DSP is scenery, mountains, oceans, skies. Um, for lack of a better word, tie-dye patterns. Um, just gorgeous paper. See that? You can make a scene there very easily. Well, that's what I'm going to do because I talked about it um, on Sunday. So I took one of the pieces of designer series paper, the one that had the gardens. I also spoke about gardens on Sunday. And I cut the piece down to two and five eighths by three and a quarter. I know, Kathleen, I absolutely love this paper too. And that size will fit right inside the stitched, sweetly stitched rectangle. So you can see the stitching as well as the scallops. And see how pretty that is already? And the silver just gives us a more upscale, classy look on top of this canvas. Okay. So then I showed you how to double your fences with the crumb cake on Sunday I did. And if you're here and you didn't see Sunday's live, you can go back and watch the replay. I showed you how to put the canvas fence on top of the crumb cake fence. And we can easily enter a garden on this card. Look at that. Yeah, in my head, I saw, saw this look. Okay, so one more thing I want to do before I put this together. I'm going to go to my black memento. And I just love how it gives, I just want to call this the secret garden. I do. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to go to my Black Memento ink and one of the stamps in the stamp set on the horizon. And it's just thinking of you. Such a um, serene, peaceful, relaxing card to send to someone that maybe you're missing them or they're going through a hard time or for some reason they need to know someone's thinking of them. And again, on the canvas, you want to hold it down, give it time to soak in. Yes, that is a very good idea. Kathleen's telling us that she uses the dye with the wood grain uh, designer series papers, which makes total sense because it's wood grain and that is what fences are, right? So that is very, very pretty. Thanks for uh, telling us all that, Kathleen. So now we're going to take our uh, liquid Tombow glue and I'm going to put it on the back of this rectangle stitch so sweetly die on the silver foil paper. 
and place it just above the words. And I'm just going to turn it this way and press and get that down. Okay, now the designer series paper, again, two and five eighths by three and three quarters. Can you believe that, you guys? 50. I was so ecstatic when I was typing in all the names for the winner. Um, 50 viewers on Sunday. And honestly, um, some might be laughing because that's not really a lot. Uh, but when you're on um, social media, it does take time to get an audience. A few factors that people I would imagine like and one is consistency, which lately I haven't been able to be very consistent. Um, and then the teaching aspects and organization and those types of things, I think, are the things that, you know, draw people to you. That's what would draw me to someone anyway. So I totally appreciate all of you. Some of you definitely are here 99% of the time, unless it's so late where you are that you have to watch the replay or you've got a doctor's appointment or something, but for the most part, you guys are here. Look at this. So so the designer series paper, the, the evening evergreen colors in there, bring out the base. That's why I selected the base. Now I'm gonna go to my regular applicator. I want more glue than my uh, precision applicator will spill out. So that's why I always say, have both. Fill up your applicator, but leave some in your, in the original applicator that it comes in. And then again, you guys are going to line the inside and put a little strip of canvas on the inside too, just to tailor it up. And if this card is not beyond simple, but elegant, I don't know what is. I really like it a lot. Thank you for the hearts. Okay. Yes, very easy. All right, so what else can we do? with these dies. So this card I cut out this way. Okay, it's a little long. So this is one I'm designing right in front of you. So I'm gonna cut this down to five and a quarter, this canvas. And we're gonna hope and pray that it comes out pretty. And I would definitely not, not throw this away because you can use it for your sentiments on there. Okay. So this is five and a quarter. So we're going to do, I think I'm going to try five and a quarter on this piece as well, but I might go down to five and an eight. I think I'm going to go down to five. And I was scared to death um, with this designer series paper because I don't have the whole 12 by 12 pack. I, I cut it down to six by six for my ribbon share, and that's the only packet I had. So I'm trying to be very careful <laughs> with how I use it because I, I, I need to have the whole pack. All right, so I did the thinking of you as well. So notice no glue or anything because I'm just playing. So the dies, I showed them to you on Sunday, but this one, this die here is this one. So we can, I want it here. So let's see. This, now this just changed for me. I don't, I see Niagara Falls now. Um, although there is a reflection, so maybe it's a lake. The, I saw the falls in 
in my head very the very first thing I saw. So let's put mountains behind it. And we're not gluing anything down just to see how we like things. And this is how I play with this set. Then the uh, the intricate piece that could be white snow caps also. I love it. I love there, it. There's just nothing really. I don't think that you can that you can do with this set that's not going to be pleasing to the eye. Now, if you want a lake in front, this other piece die can go there. And then you're thinking of you there. And you just have a mountain scene with I'm 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 almost hearing and feeling this mist of the splashing. Um, back there. It looks to me like a waterfall. I can raise this a little bit higher because this is the reflection of the trees, like in a lake, I believe. So, okay, let's start here. Silicone mat. Whenever you're going to um, use glue onto a little piece like this, you want to have your silicone mat, and there's the code for that. Yes, wink a Stella on the water to make it look sparkly. You're just full of great ideas. That is a wonderful idea. Wink a Stella is a pen that just ha um, has a very subtle liquidy glitter. So if you put that, it's a shimmer. If you put that on the water, you will have it gleaming and sparkling. It's very, very pretty. I put it on flower. You put it on anything. If you like sparkle, you'll love Stella. Okay, so these mountains are together. And I think I'm going to put them a little higher. Oh, no, but then it doesn't. Then I don't see the waterfall. So now it's totally, let's see, now it's totally a mountain scene. Yeah, I want, I'm going to pretend that's a waterfall, even though I know it's not. In my mind, it is. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Okay. So I'm going to place this about here. And then the peaks are just showing. Now, this is the designer series paper that I talked about earlier. See, I cut a piece out of here, out of this one. Then you have your grassy mountains. And I'm thinking I only want glue towards the bottom so the top is not down flat and it gives me just a little bit dimension. They're sticking up a little more than it would if you glued the whole thing flat down. Okay, these stinking dark, <laughs> these trees are so cute. I love it, just love it. Same thing, I'm gonna put glue on the land, the grass, and not on the trees, so they are allowed to poke up too. Look at that cute little scene. Now, do we want lake here? Blue. I don't think I do. I think I want this to be more like mountains and waterfall or maybe even Yosemite, something like that. Back onto the canvas. Terry. And I'm out of canvas now. I have that one that I just opened. That's my last one, so I've got to go get more. Such a great 
medium to work with. Okay, then to our card. And you know, you can just, this can be for, for men too. We always wondering what can we do for our men. Now see, I stamped a, a tree on this side, but I didn't care for that, that look on the canvas. I love the look, but just not on the canvas for me. Got to play with it around some more. Hello, Irene. Okay. And then the thinking of you can be right in the middle. It can come off to the bottom here. I like, them. I like it in both places. You could also cut an angle to get a little, um, you know, a, a banner flag here if you wanted to on this side. You could put it here. You could add some baker's twine. You could do many things. I'm going to leave this very tailored and even. You like it in the corner? Okay, Donna likes it in the corner, so I'm going to put it in the corner for Donna. This corner or that corner? I'm going to put it in this corner just because I want it to be even up with the paper. But it will look good on both, I think. And again, line the inside. Now, if you don't want to spend all your canvas on the inside, you can just use vanilla cardstock and uh, and you'll be good so let's we were talking about wink Estella, so let's add it to our trees we have shimmery trees this quick and easy and if you're going to use a little you might as well use a lot okay so if you are sending this to a lady friend and you want to sparkle it up a little bit more, you know, just go to any of your gems that you have. These are just the ones that were first, were the first ones I grabbed. Space them out, use odd numbers and you'll be good. Shimmer the water. Okay, the, oh, the waterfall water. Okay, let me see. Shimmer the water. Okay. Where did Stella go? Here she is. Glimmer the water. Oh, yeah. Who was that? Donna. Thank you. That's a great idea. It's um, subtle, but it makes a difference. You always struggle with mail cards. We, most of us do. Most of us do. So there we go. There is... A waterfall, mountain scene. Here's a beautiful garden. And then here's a gorgeous beach. So this set, this bundle, along with the designer series paper, this comes in 12 by 12. I th or does it come by six by six? I wrote six by six here, so it must be six by six. I don't know. I have to look in the catalog. But with the designer series paper, it's just gorgeous. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to point out, whenever you're using, um, and this is gonna retire, whenever you're using the canvas, I want you, well, let's do it here. You can probably see it better. I want you to notice how beautiful this ribbon looks with it. Yes, it's six by six. Thank you, Debbie. 
gorgeous. This is the same color as the canvas. And if you, if it's a, for a female that you're sending this, it's gorgeous. I loved it. I just didn't get time to make anything with it. All right. Thank you, Joan. Any questions? Beverly, I'll wait for your address so I can send you a couple little surprises. And thank you guys for sprinkling, watering, and telling others about me both on YouTube and um, here on Facebook. Yes, go get some canvas. And remember, it works with your punches too. You just have to have a little bit of muscle and a sturdy table. My table that I work on here is from um, Ikea. So it is kind of like the... Um, it's just like a plank over some legs, and so it's not that sturdy. But over on my desk, I can just um, totally punch out easily with, with the canvas. All right, guys. I don't see any questions. I do see lights, lots of likes, so I'm happy with that. Very easy set to use. Just cut out a bunch of the uh, images and make a scene. All right, you guys. See you on Sunday, 7 o'clock. Stampin' All Day with Bev. Bye-bye.